Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and I'm coming right back at you with yet another spectacular vehicle. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of an absolutely stunning 1966 Ford F100 custom pickup truck that has been completely customized. And this vehicle's powered by a Ford F150 SVT Lightning 5.4 liter V8 that's coupled to a 4R100 automatic transmission. You've got to check this out. To start off this uh, presentation here, uh, I'd like to say if you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note, I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. I'm very proud to say that we are the only classic car dealership in the country who thoroughly services everything that we sell. We document the work with an invoice. Uh, in this massive binder uh, for this particular truck here, you can see this took me hours and hours to actually put all this information into this binder. It's brand spanking new. Uh, the first thing that you will see, which you can also see uh, on our website, photo gallery is the invoice for the work that we did. We invested a total of $3,495.22. I will say uh, over and over again that regardless of if a vehicle is factory correct, if a vehicle is custom, no matter who does the restoration, all classic cars need to be sorted out, and that's what we do here at the dealership. Uh, so the new owner has no surprises. Once it's done being uh, serviced, we take great pride in detailing these vehicles to the highest level. We start from the undercarriages, we work our ways to the top, and then of course we present what you see here today. So please visit our website, msclassiccars.com. Check out our sold page. We have almost 800 vehicles to reference. Do your homework on us. Again, check out all the photos we have on this vehicle, almost 200 photos. Again, uh, I think you'll be really impressed with the vehicles that you see and the way that we conduct business. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start off this presentation. I am gonna use this sheet to read off of. This is information that I have composed personally. I've written all this uh, together here. I am gonna try to flow through it. I apologize if it's boring at times. My point is to communicate as much information as I can for the new owner. It's not going to be a super exciting video, but we will be doing a driving video of this vehicle next week. Uh, so make sure to check out our YouTube channel for the driving video. Uh, that will probably be Mike and Corey who do that uh, as we've done in the past. So let's go ahead and start off and say, um, I have sold some amazing vintage C10 custom pickup trucks over the last few months. Uh, probably would put them in the top you know, 25, 50 in the country by some of the top builders. Uh, we clearly know quality here at MS Classic Cars when we see it, but now it's time to switch gears. Uh, I'm super excited to present not a Chevy, but a Ford. For all you people who bleed blue, uh, eat your heart out because this is a really, really sweet truck uh, that has a ton of features. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This absolutely stunning 1966 
Ford F-150 custom pickup truck is the ultimate resto mod. Notice I'm calling it a resto mod. This is not a pro touring truck. In my opinion, a pro touring truck is something that somebody is going to use and they're going to use it hard. They're going to potentially autocross the vehicle. They're going to use it, you know, hard around corners and they're going to just look for the ultimate performance. A resto mod is something that's more of a cruiser uh, that has all the amenities but wasn't set up to like rip the streets and, and so forth. So I'm referencing this as a resto mod. That's just my opinion uh, of the word. It was restored to high show quality standards and it's loaded with modern features. Again, it's powered by a Ford F-150 Lightning SVT 5.4 liter supercharged V8 and a 4R100 automatic transmission. As the original VIN and warranty tag uh, that's on the driver's door, it is original to the truck. As it indicates, it was built in Dallas, Texas as a white 1966 uh, Ford F100 regular cab, uh, two wheel drive, short wheelbase pickup truck. It was originally a six cylinder truck and it had a four speed manual transmission. It was shipped to the Phoenix, Arizona DSO, uh, where it spent its entire life. It was purchased in 2014 uh, by a gentleman named Stephen Benner, who lives in Boring, Oregon. And I'll tell you what, Stephen is not boring, even though that's the town he's from. He's actually an exciting guy, and he really wanted to build an exciting truck. Uh, so the pickup truck was in really solid original condition it was the perfect candidate for a restoration steve's vision was to create the finest 1966 f100 on the planet and he acted as a general contractor on the build i become friends with steve he's a super nice guy he's always responsive when i have questions i'm sure the person who buys this truck he would be there to answer any questions uh, down the road if you had him as well just a person that uh I really enjoy doing business with and think the new owner will enjoy uh, talking with him as well. Steve completed the restoration in 2022, which is documented again with receipts and photos of the restoration are included. MS Classic Cars purchased this vehicle in March of 2023, and this is the first time we've ever listed it for sale right here, right now. So let's get into the exterior. The exterior of this 1966 F100 is jaw-dropping with its factory sporty design and beautiful colors. It's captivating when you look at the, all the attention to detail. This vehicle here stands tall next to those other pickup trucks that I referenced uh, in the beginning of the video and also all the other cars that we have in the MS Classic Cars collection. Uh, this is a really, really sweet truck. The body was blasted, primed, and countless hours were spent making all the panels laser straight. All of the body gaps are precise, including the doors, which were shaved and trimmed for excellent fitment. These doors clearly fit much better because they were modified than the factory doors ever fit. Approximately 150 hours were spent fabricating the custom lightweight hood, which replicates the original body lines while accommodating the height of the supercharger. So that hood uh, is absolutely handmade, if you will, lightweight. It's got that huge cowl. He did a beautiful job uh, with that hood. Uh, tip my hat to uh, all the people that were involved in that process. The body trim, the emblems, and the antenna hole were smooth for a clean appearance. You'll notice that the rear bumper was also removed and a roll pan was fabricated to the body for a very unique look in the back. You'll have to get on the internet and look at what this truck looked like from the factory and then compare what it looks like now. Uh, the body was painted, and this is one of my favorite parts of this truck, in Porsche gray black. That's what it's called, gray black. And the code is 781 if you want to look it up. It looks gorgeous on this truck. Steven invested over $40,000 just in the bodywork and paint, which is documented with receipts. Again, there are hundreds of receipts that I put in date order with plastic sleeves for the new owner to go through after they get the vehicle. The paint is ocean deep, and it was recently detailed to a show quality shine by the team at MS Classic Cars. 
The front windshield, this vent glass here, the door glass and the rear glass was all replaced brand spanking new and then ceramic coated to a slight tint uh, so it's not too dark, it's perfect. Um, the windshield wiper arms, the, the dual mirrors, the parking light bezels, the headlight bezels, the grill, uh, the front bumper, the door handles, the tail light bezels were powder coated in chromosome, which is a very unique color that I think complements this gray color perfectly. You can see here in this video uh, how it contrasts and how nice it looks. Some of the custom features include LED halo headlights. You'll see that in our photos. Uh, LED tail lights, which you'll also see. And then it has an e uh, EcoMaster Pro uh, PCAM 101 uh, infrared um, fared license plate camera in the back. You'll see that in all the photos as well. That is for the rear camera screen, which I'll get into in a minute. It rolls on Rocket Racing Attack Titanium Machine Forged 20 by eight and a half wheels. The wheels are wrapped in Nitto NT55 GT, uh, their G2 tires. They're 245, uh, 4, 4020 in the front and 245, 4520 in the back. Uh, the rear bed liner side panels, their rear tailgate and inner wheel wells were also repainted in the Porsche gray black, which I'm now getting into the bed. Uh, one of my favorite parts, again, about this truck is the Smoky Road Shop House Honey Oak Aluminum Floor uh, wood drop-in bed kit with stainless steel trips look, uh, strips look amazing. Uh, this has been laser cut and the wood is digitally printed. So it's not real wood back there, but it looks absolutely like real wood. Really trick idea. Uh, a kit was professionally installed to accommodate a custom gas filler in the rear of the bed. You will see that in all of our photos. It's right before the tailgate. Just put it down, spin it off, and put your fuel right in the back. They really did an amazing job with this truck. Now getting into the interior. Uh, this one-of-a-kind interior of this 1966 F100 is tastefully done throughout. It's loaded with many modern conveniences. It was designed and completed by Russ's uh, auto upholstery. Um, he's in Oregon. Uh, the tan leather with perforated leather inserts and stainless steel pieces covers the headliner. They did a beautiful job uh, with this. You can see those little stainless pieces in the corners, uh, in the pillar section and so forth. Again, did a great job uh, with that. It's also, um, uh, on the uh, sun visors, it's also on the steering wheel, it's on the kicker panels, the door panels, the center console, the bench seat, and the custom box that's behind the seat. You'll see that in our photos, I'll get into that in a minute. The dash was painted the same color as the exterior, will look super sharp, they did a beautiful job. The paint on this dash is as nice as the paint on the exterior, uh, which again is real high show quality. Um, the dash was outfitted with a machined turned uh, dash insert, carbon fiber gauge bezel, and a full set of Autometer Ford Masterpiece gauges. Love the gauge selection that Steven did in this truck. Uh, the dash uh, also houses the Gen 2 compact uh, vintage air conditioning and heating knobs, custom vents, and fully functional glove box. You'll see in our pictures the glove box door we took down. Uh, the doors are equipped with armrests, chrome door handles and a power window kit that operates with stock style uh, window cranks. So it looks like it you would roll the windows up, but you actually just move them up and down and that operates the uh, power windows. It's extremely comfortable with the bench seat as it has modern seat belts for uh, safety. The center console has a Kenwood uh, receiver. Again, it's got that rear camera. It's got interior lights that are built into the sides of the console, which work really nice. They're like an LED uh, style light. And then it has side mounted tweeters at the top. Again, they did a great job with the uh, center console. Uh, some of the other custom features in uh, include a lizard uh, skin sound uh, detonator, which basically is covering this whole cabin before they lay down all the carpeting and all the paneling and everything else. That's to keep the cabin, uh, you know, quiet and to keep, uh, you know, road noise out and so forth, uh, heat from the floors, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it also has an, a low car emergency brake cable kit. And again, that custom box that's behind the seat that we took pictures of, it has the computer, it has the amplifier, the subwoofer, 
and all the wiring back there uh, was neatly wrapped for an ultra or organized look. Sometimes with these vehicles, the wiring is a disaster. Uh, when I saw how beautiful of a job they did with the wiring in the back, it's just so impressive. It looks like something that the factory would have done in that box. Make sure to check out those photos. Now, as we lead our way to the engine compartment, this is where it gets even more exciting. Uh, it's highly detailed throughout with many custom parts. The firewall, inner fenders, and radiator support was again painted in that Porsche gray black color. The back side of the hood was painted in kind of like a black uh, textured material that's again for durability sometimes if that engine bay gets hot and so forth it's better for those reasons as well um, so again that's what they used the hood hinges and hood latch was also powder coated in that chromosome uh, again that matches these exterior appointments it's equipped with a new painless wiring harness Again, the heart of this 66 F100 is a 2000 uh, Ford Lightning one, F150 SVT 5.4 liter engine that runs beautiful. Everything on the motor was completely gone through and the supercharger was sent to well-known Colorado for the rebuild and porting. The engine is mated to a Ron Francis wiring harness in Ron Francis did reprogram the SVT 5.4 liter computer system so everything is dialed in. And then of course the guys at our dealership did a great job kind of retuning everything and getting it to uh, be as perfect as possible. It runs and drives beautiful. Um, it's equipped with a water uh, liquid to air intercooled heat exchanger radiator uh, type 118 for the supercharger. It can handle high horsepower. Under the hood, you'll also notice the polished aluminum firewall bulkheads for the Gen 2 vintage air system, the vintage air uh, superflow aluminum horizontal condenser. You'll notice 22 inch stainless steel steering shaft, uh, stainless steel uh, universal steering joints, and an aluminum remote style power steering reservoir. Yes, it does have power steering. Uh, again, all of the options. The engine breathes through a custom two and a half inch dual exhaust system with Flowmaster Super HP2 stainless mufflers. They sound great. Uh, you'll hear it in a minute when I start it. It does have a set of Roush exhaust tips that both exit uh, in the rear in front of the tires, both, both sides. Um, the engine is cooled by a heavy duty polished aluminum performance fit, four core radiator and dual electric fans. The engine is coupled to a professionally rebuilt 4R100 transmission that shifts smoothly. Some of the transmission upgraded parts include a heavy duty torque converter. It's got an E4OD uh, rebuild kit, uh, F8 front pump, uh, it does have a Transgo HD kit, cast iron uh, front plate, and a B&M automatic transmission deep oil pan in the engine. Uh, it's equipped with a custom heavy-duty 53-inch uh, drive shaft that was built by Driveline Services. Uh, the power is transferred to a narrowed Ford 9-inch posi rear end with Dutchman 31 spline axles that was built by American Hot Rod. So one thing uh, about this vehicle that Steve wanted to do is he wanted to keep a lot of those Ford components and really keep it as true as he possibly could to the Ford product. Once again, he absolutely nailed it. So concluding this presentation here, uh, we'll talk quickly about the undercarriage. The undercarriage is highly detailed, just like the engine bay, just like the rest of the truck many custom parts um, underneath of this truck really should be displayed with mirrors at a car show it is that nice i think you will agree when you see all the pictures in our photo gallery it's absolutely spotless it was painted in that same uh, black texture paint as it was underneath the hood again for obvious reasons it is equipped with an industrial chassis uh, that was fabricated uh, so the whole front end and cross member it was all done it was professionally installed by duffy motorsports uh, it's based off of an 87 to 96 dodge dakota in the front uh, so it clearly does have a lot of uh, chassis upgrades it includes also a mustang 2 rack and pinion steering system which i mentioned earlier it's a power system it's got aq1 uh, pro adjustable coilover front suspension it's got a full heights uh, four link rear suspension with billet springs. Um, it is equipped with power four wheel disc brakes, 
uh, with a Mustang Cobra Hydro Boost uh, system. The front calipers and drill rotors are from Cardi. The rear calipers are uh, also in the rotors are drilled and slotted there from Bear. You will clearly see that uh, in all the pictures. And uh, it was outfitted with a new 1970, once again, Ford Mustang tank. I'm talking about the gas tank uh, with a hyperfuel EFI pump system. So that kind of concludes everything about this truck. Again, I'm sure there's a, a lot of things I actually didn't talk about. Every single screw and every single nut and bolt and every fastener, even these little pieces right here for these vent windows are brand new, beautiful, all the felts, all the rubber trim. A restoration in today's world of this magnitude, you're easily going to spend a couple hundred thousand dollars. This is a very, very special truck. And once again, we invested almost $3,500 sorting it out. So that concludes the uh, presentation here. I will mention if you have not signed up for the MS Classic Cars VIP email blast, I would please urge you to do so. We send a few emails out per week that really gives you a great overview of new inventory, upcoming inventory, what we've sold, uh, where our vehicles are, what platforms are on and so forth. It's a really great way to stay in touch. We would also ask that you follow us on all the social media networks. We are out and about Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all that good stuff. Uh, so please make sure to uh, check us out as there as well. So this is a cold start. Um, I have not started this vehicle in probably two, three days. Uh, we like to do cold start videos now for our presentations so people can see how well dialed in they are. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start and let's listen how beautiful she runs. That's all there is to it. Fuel injection. Sounds super, super good out that exhaust system too. We really appreciate you watching this video. Make sure to watch the driving video. And as always, rock and roll.